Hey guys, Jeffrey here with your daily Bible upload. I want to thank you for joining us today, and I hope you all have a blessed day. I'll be reading the book of Daniel, chapter 9 from the NIV. In chapter 9, we will be reading about Daniel's prayer for God to intercede on the destruction of Jerusalem, the angel Gabriel's interpretation of the 77s. I hope you all will be joining us for chapter 10. If you are finding value from this, please like to help share the message and let me, let me know what you think of my video in the comments below. In the first year of Darius, son of Xerxes, a Medi by descent, who was made ruler over the Babylonian kingdom. In the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, understood from the scriptures, according to the word of the Lord given to Jeremiah the prophet, that the desolation of Jerusalem would last 70 years. So I turned to the Lord God and pleaded with him in prayer and in petition, in fasting and in sackcloth and ashes. I prayed to the Lord my God and confessed, Lord the great and awesome God who keeps his covenant of love with those who love him and keeps his commandments, we have sinned and done wrong. We have been wicked and have rebelled. We have turned away from your commands and laws. We have not listened to your servants, the prophets, who spoke in your name to our kings, our princes, and our ancestors, and to all the people of the land. Lord, you are righteous, but this day we are covered with shame. The people of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem and all Israel, both near and far, and all the countries where you have scattered us because of our unfaithfulness to you. We and our kings, our princes, and our ancestors are covered with shame, Lord, because we have sinned against you. The Lord our God is merciful and forgiving, even though we have rebelled against him. We have not obeyed the Lord our God or kept the law he gave us through his servants, the prophet. All Israel has transgressed your law and turned away, refusing to obey you. Therefore, the curse and the sworn judgment written in the law of Moses, the servant of God, have been poured out on us because we have sinned against you. You have fulfilled the words spoken against us and against our rulers by bringing on us great disasters. Under the whole heaven, nothing has ever been done like what has been done to Jerusalem. Just as it is written in the law of Moses, all the disasters have come on us, yet we have not sought the favor of the Lord our God by turning from our sins and given attention to your truth. The Lord did not hesitate to bring the disasters on us. For the Lord our God is righteous in everything he does, yet we have not obeyed him. Now, Lord our God, who brought your people out of Egypt with a mighty hand and who made for yourself a name that endures to this day, we have sinned. We have done wrong. Lord, in keeping with all your righteous acts, turn away your anger and your wrath from Jerusalem, your city, your holy hill. Our sins and right and antiquities of our ancestors have made Jerusalem, your people, an object of scorn to all those according to us. Now, our God, hear the prayer and petition of your servant. For your sake, Lord, look with favor on your desolate sanctuary. Give ear, our God, and hear. Open your eyes and see the desolation of our city that beats your name. We do not make request of you because we are righteous, but because of your great mercy. Lord, listen. Lord, forgive. Lord, hear and act for your sake, my God. Do not delay because your city and your people bear your name.
while I was speaking and praying, confessing my sins and the sins of my people Israel, and making my request to the Lord my God for his holy hill, while I was still in prayer, Gabriel, the man I had seen in an earlier vision, came to me in a swift flight about that time of the evening sacrifice. He instructed me and said to me, Daniel, I have now come to give you insight and understanding. As soon as you began to prayer, a word went out, which I have come to tell you, for you are highly esteemed. Therefore consider the word and understand the vision. Seventy sevens are decreed for your people and your holy city to finish. Transgressions to put an end to sin, to atone for wickedness, to bring in everlasting righteousness, to seal up visions and prophecy, and to atone the most high, and to atone the most holy place. Know and understand this from the time the word goes out to restore and rebuild Jerusalem until the anointed one, the ruler, comes there will be seven sevens and seventy-two sevens. It will be rebuilt with streets and a trench. But in time of trouble, after the sixty-two sevens, the anointed one will be put to death and will have nothing. The people of the ruler who will come will destroy the city and the sanctuary. The end will come like a flood. War will continue until the end, and desolation have been decreed. He will confirm a covenant with many for one seven. In the middle of the seven, he will put an end to the sacrifice and offering. And at the temple, he will set up an abomination that causes desolation. Until the end, that is decreed and poured out on him. I want to thank you all for joining us today. I hope you all have a great day and have a blessed day.